I just want to start this video, guys, by saying thank you to GG Grays for his recent membership on our live feed. It really does help us out, guys, when you jump in and you help out. Uh, even just watching the videos and, and interacting with the videos, it really does help us out. Uh, it helps me to be able to create these videos more often and put more time into them. So I just want to say thank you to, to GG Grays for that. If you want to become a member, you can just hit the join button. You'll see it on some of the videos or in the, the descriptions. And when you do, you will be able to... Pick one of the different uh, memberships and you'll get these membership badges and um, the custom emojis and stuff like that, access to that, as well as a shout out. And and so each one has a different thing, a different perk, whereas this one has a t-shirt, a branded t-shirt you can get. And so I just thought I'd point that out, guys. And um, yeah, so let's jump into this video. Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be taking out the C1. So I got given the C1 as a loaner ship for my Zeus CL, and so that's how I'm able to get it. But I think today on the IEA, I think the uh, day today on the IE, IAE day is Crusader. So you should be able to pick this ship up. I've not been over there, so I'm not too sure, but I'm presuming you're going to be able to pick this ship up and, and rent it. And if you do, then this is some of the stuff you can actually do with it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take it on some vice running because the cargo is about 64 SEU and it also has a tractor beam. So I'm going to do some vice running and then I'm going to do some salvage, uh, picking up some boxes and stuff like that and just see how we get on and maybe just take it out for a quick fight as well and see how it does as a um, uh, to be able to defend itself. What I'm looking at here is, is the C1 a good all-rounder ship for running around in doing vice running cargo to earn some money, doing bounties, uh, doing the salvage, and getting the boxes for that and maybe even bunkers stuff like that so yeah that's what i'm looking at with this one, one guys i'm going to start here over at hearthstone because i want to show you something that i love about this ship this one in the a1 hopefully it doesn't change in the future but i'm over at hearthstone and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to crusader which is once we take once we click it it's going to be about seven um where is it 31 million, 31 million um, kilometers away. And I just want to see, show you how fast this is. I'm going to put obviously a timestamp in so you can um, skip this, but I just want to show you how quick this ship is at getting to places. And this is important because normally when I'm talking about the cargo running ships that do vice running, is you're talking about the, the, a, the, you're talking about the, um, Pull A and the Max and and the Nomad, so they're sort of all the best uh, vice running ships for me. And this one with the with its 64 cargo sort of is up there with with them. Uh, but this one, it, it can travel quite far distances and is really really fast at getting there. And so for me, it's got some good armament on it. It's got um, four laser cannons on it that we can maybe change two of those to be disruptors and we can also look at maybe um, um, other things with the ship like it's, it's, it's other components but just stock as it is it's a really good ship it's really fast it's good at maneuverability is really good and it's got good arm on it and it's got 64 cargo so this could be a really good all-rounder cargo runner um, for vice as well as defending itself if you do get if you do get um, people come after you it's definitely more move maneuverable than the the uh, the whole C, uh, the whole air and definitely more maneuverable than the max uh, doesn't have the power and the weaponry of the max but it's still got good maneuverability it's really really fast as you can see we're uh, over halfway now to crusader uh, with me just talking so yeah, so we hope you like this video guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that point and tickle the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. It's free fly week at the moment. So the code dropping down, if you use that code, uh, when you create a new account, you can free fly for the next week or so with the ships. You just go down to the hall and you can rent the ships out and you'll probably get some ships in your thing as well. Um, so yeah, make an account. If you When you make an account with RSI, use that code that's just dropped down and um, you'll get 5,000 credits if you do actually create a real account. I say a real account when if you actually do buy a ship later on um, and you because you do like the game. If you want your code to show um, in the next video, guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, just throw your code in the comments and I'll pick a code at random as I always do and um, and drop that one down. 
So yeah, so let's get into this one, guys. I'm almost at Crusader now, as you see. I'm on it, I think, three away, three million. That's how fast this ship is for me. It's just, it's incredibly fast. And so when this lands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my normal cargo running, which is going to be private property, yellow uh, for NNX, uh, N, um, double X, uh, double nine, uh, double X triple nine or whatever it is on yellow there is also uh jump town there but i'm not going to go to jump town today and then i will jump to new and waste management and fill up there and because it's a small cargo ship it's a medium ship but it's the cargo is not a big cargo space you should be able to fill up quite easily with this ship and you'll be able to move around fast and stuff like that so that's what i'm looking at here so let's get into the video where i'm actually talking guys so the first thing I'm going to do is head over to private property. That's the go-to for me. Private property and then maybe yellow and then maybe DMR. Let's see what we can get. See if we can get this filled up. See, his maneuverability is not that bad. And it's quantum, it's fast. It moves so quick in quantum. One of the fastest ships I've seen in quantum. So if you wanted to do longer runs, like you wouldn't say you wanted to get vice from here and go to a different place other than Brio's, you know, it might be a, a an option because of the the quantum being to quicken this. I thought I'd thought I'd gone to private property, but obviously not. Let's give this a go. Now I'd say this ship sort of almost is in line with size wise and fit um actually better feel than the max it just doesn't have the cargo of it. it's half the cargo of the max but it's about the same size and the max does have some good firepower but i'm wondering if this is going to be a better ship for fighting with with the max you've got the option of doing vice runs and having a bit of firepower bigger ship but also you've got the option with the max to do a bit more cargo running different types of cargo running This thing moves quick. It's a big ship, but it moves good. It moves fast. I, when I flew the A1, I was absolutely gobsmacked with it. Turn engines off. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. I was absolutely gobsmacked with the A1, and I loved flying it. And this could be a ship that I really, really do like. There's not many ships other than the max that I, I really think are an amazing for vice running the like i said the other one the whole a is all right but it's too clunky for me the the whole a i did press it but taking a chance here by leaving that open i could lose out here Risky move, risky move that is. But well, I'm hoping not to stay too long. So we got 
no slam we've got five neon so it might not be the best place to do it here so we're only going to get four neon here confirm that accept that we're not going to get the slam so no cargo here so someone's doing a run around here looks like it might be on a different server for me i think what they need to do is have longer waiting times for you when you buy the stock rather than um, no stock because if we can pick up the stock then we can just wait around for it to be loaded but at least you're going to get a stock two boxes there now it's got the tractor beam on this but I just feel the tractor beam is useless at the moment for, for, for this ship Unless you need to drag cargo from another ship, like say you do one of those salvage, um, salvaging runs. Turn ship on. Turn ship on. Starting brief flight protocols. Turn engines All on. All systems operational. Starting brief flight protocols. All systems operational. So for me, it's about how quick can we get out of the atmosphere and stuff like that. That's what I'm looking at. How quick is this thing at moving out? Getting away. I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty quick, to be honest with you. Sorry if you guys can hear my chair creaking. I need to put some WD-40 on it. So I'm gonna go over to yellow. And uh NT triple nine double X. And I'll put the, the route in the descriptions. Ship. It moves quick. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. Spool ups really quick as well. And I know you can buy these parts, like you could put these engines and quantum drives and all that stuff in in other ships, but for me, if this all comes standard, like so it's already fast at a standard level. Maybe like I said, change out the the cannons, maybe I'd change two of those out to be distortions, maybe. Veto. 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 Just it's moves, especially when it's like not a strong atmosphere. Moves pretty fast. Feels like these craters have changed. Can't see anything. Even with the lights on, I can't see anything. I think it's around here. That was, there it is, yeah. Oh. That's really, really. And I'm wondering if, a lot of people say the stealth builds are not in yet, so I'm wondering once it does come in, if you can do a stealth on it, would that be good as well? Turn engines off. Powering down. Engines. Or would the cross-section be too much? You guys let me know in the comments. Is the cross-section still going to show me up? I'm not too sure how the stealth builds work in terms of... Um, like, if I put stealth components on, would that bring my signatures down a lot? Or is the, is the um, 
cross section too much. I'm leaving mine back open again. But I'm not planning on waiting around, so that's the thing. So we've got 18 with all 19 each time here. So we'll probably only be able to take 17. 17. Confirm. And 18. Confirm. So we're 60% full. We've got two places, with two other places we've got. We can either go to Jump Town. I'm not even going to go in there. Should I go in there? Maybe it's all over. Um, we've got Jump Town we can go to and New and Waste Management. So there are two places we can go to. Um, I'll probably go to New and Waste Management because it's on Daymar anyway. And I'm normally leaving my ramp over. You guys can be a bit more careful if you want to be. But for me, I'm listening out. I can't hear ships around. So, and I'm going to keep an eye on the back. And then I'll keep an eye on in case anything comes up and says that someone's got on the ship. And then when I'm in, I can just close the doors. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. Engines. All systems on launch Let's get out. And this is what I'm trying to find out here. How quick it is just to get away. Like, how quick it is to move around. And for me, this is what, I'll, this is what I'm talking about. By, by, by is it going to be a good vice runner? From, from what we can do. And like I say, it's got a bit of firepower to it. I could change two of the weapons to be distortion. Excuse me, to be distortion cannons. Quantum travel engaged. Quantums are really, really fast. It's got some protection in the firepower. Got a tractor beam if you do want to go and do some salvaging stuff. Quantum travel complete. And it's quick. Again, that in and out of places. Quantum travel engaged. So I've been recording for about 20 minutes now. And in that time I've spawned waited for my ship um however long i had to wait when i when i when i got it get over from hurston over to crusader and i'm on my third place of getting cargo so Be a bit more careful here because I'm coming in fast. Feels a bit dusty down there. I think I also need to do my shaders as well. Seeing it now. There we are. So again, look on my map. Make sure there's no one around. Just make sure my gear's down. There we are. Turn engines off. Powering down. Engines off. Now the place to worry about is going to be Brio's. Going off to Brio's, that's going to be the place to worry about. Yeah. 
so hopefully we can get in and out quick. So it's all about using my ears as well. So let's go to the spirit. We'll take eight widow first. Because of the bug, we can't buy a full one because it's only half a load. Take that, then we'll go to Etam and we'll buy eight of that. Set that and then we'll go to Neon and buy eight of that. And then we've got all to see a toxin and we'll buy eight of that. We can only buy one of that because we are almost full. Why can I not buy? Low inventory, it says eight SEU. Does it, oh, I'm full, that's why. Anyway, I was full. So, three trips, I'm full. So it's quick to fill up. That's the good thing about having this low cargo, small cargo ships. It's not a small cargo ship, it's a big ship. But when I say small cargo, I mean as in there's not a lot of cargo in, in the ship itself. I'm going to close the door this time. Uh, these doors, I wish, was a little bit quicker because they are annoying for getting in and off your ship. You need a f When you're doing this vice running, you need a ship you can get in and out real quick. As you can see, turn engines on. Turn engines on. Starting engine on all calls. All systems operational. Let's do that. Let's get out of here. And this is the thing, how quick can how quick can get in and out of this place. Now so now's the time to check. Is Brio's gonna be too much? Uh, if I see people down here I may not stay, I might just go somewhere else. But we'll take a chance. And for me, this is what I'm looking at. Is this gonna be a good cargo runner? Still going up, so that's good. The thing is, is with this run, you, you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky, you'll get stuck. Sometimes you won't get stuck. Sometimes you'll get people around. It's like, especially around Brio's, you might get a few people around. And so you just constantly have to keep your your eyes on a swivel and constantly be, to be looking around. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my VTOL as well. So there's someone up there. Don't think anybody's in it because it's not blue. Start bringing this down. And it does stop quite quick as well. So it does um, with the atmosphere and that. Another ship there, but not, uh, not highlightable, so. That's a C1 there. His ramp is open. Now this is where I could lose out. 
somebody's here with a gun. I don't have a gun, so... I'm gonna lock my doors. Let's get in there. It's the last stuff. And then we'll see what we earned from that. I reckon it was probably about an half an hour run. Oh, no, actually, I'm not half an hour now, and I had to do all the traveling and stuff like that, so. See what we can actually sell. So we'll sell the toxin. We'll sell all the widow. Sell all the. If that. And then we'll sell all of that. There we go. So we got a, a good lucky run there. What did we make? Let me bring up my thing. So we started off with 3,848,655. We are now on 3,936,277. So we made 87,622. 87,000 in about 20 minutes is not a bad run, actually. I definitely like that shit as a, as a, as a runner. I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. But for me, that is a really good vice running ship because there's so much more purpose to it as well. There's so much more you can do with it. Like I said, you could use the tractor beam to grab ships in like uh, salvage stuff and get salvage, salvage contracts that you can pick stuff up off. And just have a quick look on it here. This is a bomber, isn't it? One of the bomber ones, I think, this one, yeah. And so there's so much more you can do, like, like I said, with the tractor beam and the salvage, grabbing the, the salvage boxes. And it, it can protect you. I'm not too sure what it's going to be like in a fight, so what I might do is pick up a, a bounty now or something nearby, like a, something that I can do to fight and to see how it is on maneuvering in a fight itself because obviously it's not a fighter ship but it's got a maneuverability in it and and speed in it so to ask can it be used to do bounties it might not be able to do um vhrts and stuff like that but you'd probably be able to do the lower lower level ones It's decent at getting in and out of. It's not a massive long way to get in and out of. I say you don't have to close the door if you just want to run forward, get the in the seat, and then press your close all button, which is what I do sometimes. So we'll have a look around for other stuff on that. See if anything else comes. There, we'll take this service beacon. So this will give me a chance to try the shit as a as a little Anybody fighter. Out there? I've got pirates all over me. I need assistance here. I forgot four, so I'll just take two. So as I was coming into this fight, I realized um I wasn't able to I wasn't able to target the um the person here. Uh, later on I'm not able to target him and I realized I detached my Toby eyeglass and normally my targeting goes through my eyes, so you'll see later on when I'm trying to target stuff, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Where's he gone? Contact. Okay. See what this is like. Contact. It's not close enough, I don't think. It's not letting me select him. Why? Whoa. 
just appeared from nowhere. Attack on contacts. Yeah. Why is it not let me? Shit! So it's not let me uh, highlight him for some reason. I'm fighting blind here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's right, see how this does with this. Shit. See how the maneuverability is. It's actually not that bad. Destroy. Destroy. I thought I was a goner. Soft death him. It's not too bad. Still a little bit clunky at moving around. Obviously not as fast as a fighter, but it's actually not that bad as a, as a little fighter. See if there's any more of those little things. So what I've done is I've decided to pick up some salvaging missions instead and just test out this tractor beam and see how we can get this to work and whether we can move cargo with that. So I'm going to pick up a, a, a job here. I picked up this uh, Mercury Star Runner. It was a 10,000 job. Um, from the from the private tab and what we're gonna do is gonna check out some stuff here So I picked up this mercury star on a salvage one and I'm gonna try and see Not really too much bothered about the cargo. It's got because I think they've nerfed it Oh um, But I just wanted to scan it and see how good it is at picking up the cargo for in this ship So let's take a look at this. What have we got in it? Let's have a look Scan it. So what we got in here? Not showing anything. See if we do a higher pass. Just not showing us anything in there. What we get? No, not gonna show us. It's not showing me what's in there. Maybe there's nothing in it. We'll soon find out. We will soon find out, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of position myself. Behind him like that. I think I'm have to go down a bit. And maybe point my nose down a bit. And just see how that looks. Up a bit, maybe. Okay, let's open my door. Turn my engines off. See what we get. See if there's any cargo at all in this. It's a shame if there's not, because I really wanted to demonstrate this. Yeah. There's a bit of cargo in it. Um, there's no cargo in it whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god. Zero cargo. Well, that's a turn out for the books, isn't it? Can't even look in here, I don't think. Yeah, nothing in there neither. That's that. Let's pick up another one.
I've just stopped adding cargo to these now. I know there's people said they've nerfed them, but I've just stopped adding cargo to it. To consider in it. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to personal. Salvage. Colors Black, Warden, Constellation, Andromeda. Where's that one? Abdeen. The Colors Black is at yellow, same place. The Colors Black might not have anything in it either. So if I abandon this one, it might bring up another one. Corsair. Aerial. That one is Aberdeen. This is miles away. Andromeda. Ita. Which is where we're at, I think, isn't it? We need an item. No, because it's over here. It's not. Um, item must be Hurston. Yeah. There's two over Hurston at the moment. Aberdeen and Ita. Let's take that one and try that one. We're over here, let's try it. Perhaps if I actually follow that one. So I need to get rid of that one. Abandon. Let's have a scan of it. Any, any cargo on it again. Oh. No, no cargo on it.
again, I think I've got another one without a cargo. There is some cargo. Let's have a look what we got. I'm going to show me on that because I didn't bring a tractor beam, but there is cargo. So let's see if we, look, if we can take that cargo from out the ship. Should be able to take that. First thing is to move this to the back. should be enough to get it from there by that gonna be a bit of a tricky one this weapons on crusader industries a Gotta deploy it, I think, first. There we are. And then from there, we should be able to... That's processed food. fiddly to, to do because it's quite I did have to take down my what's it called that's that one let's go to the next one what we got it's quite um, sensitive I'd have to turn down my sensitivity I wonder if I can do that here can't see anything for it cross this food again Sensitive, I'll tell you that. Still spirits. Not easy with this mouse, I'd have to turn down my sensitivity, I think. Could probably be quicker with the um with the um 
pad and stuff. Can't use my pad for some reason. Won't let me. Use my. Pad. I have to press the space pad, um, mouse wheel to press it. Sensitive. Then we're gonna have to work on that thing. Some more distilled spirits. Rotate that. doing it that's the thing and this is what I wanted to show like without having to do the do it the with a, a another tractor beam in that in that and then in we go next one Into the crime there. I'm moving that shit. Uh, now it's gone. <laughs> Not that easy to do. And now I've got a crime stack because I hit the ship itself. Level two as well. But that'll get clear. I can clear that. That's all right. It's not an issue. Still going up. What I'm going to do is get out here. See if we can get in and catch it. So you get illegal towing. You get an illegal towing and crime stats. You're moving them. I thought you just wouldn't be able to tow them at all, to be honest. So that's that. I'm done with that now. That's empty, that ship. Not too sure why I didn't show any stock in it. Let's go and clear our crime stat and go and do this. So that's what I wanted to show there was the use of that. Because I forgot my tractor beam anyway, it was good to be able to show that. Because I could have just took it all across with my tractor beam and it might have been a little bit easier because I wouldn't have been able to have towed the ship. But I just wanted to show that anyway. find our place to go on and we'll go to Crusader we might actually be able to sell it all at Seraphine I'm not too sure but we'll go Crusader anyway actually I will go Seraphine I'm not too bothered if I sell it I just wanted to show that basically
So let's do this. Got a crime stat. Will they let me land? To show a consultant still spirits at Terrifin. Let me check quickly. Let me quickly check. Yeah, I should be able to. So we've got to go to Seraphim and do this. If they even let me in. Contacting EDL lab. So let's get our landing gear out. We're not going to get um, in trouble for coming here with our trespass, uh, with our illegal thing gear that we had, illegal towing. Useless at parking these things, landing these things. Bit big, this ship. Come on, turn engines off. Have a pleasant stay. Engines off. So, I'll have to clear my crime stat as well as try and sell this stuff. I'm not too bothered about selling it, I just wanted to show the concept of it, moving that cargo around. Which we've done. Let's close this and put the ship away as well. It's a it's a good ship. I really do like it. I like the different things you can do, like that. What I just done there. 
many times I forgot to take a tractor beam out with me, and now I, now I won't have to worry about that. That's that's a good thing. Depends now how much I'm going to get for this um, fine. For my fines now. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Restore it. Please visit us. And let's go and clear our crime stats and sell the cargo. So we're going to go to the gallery where the admin office is. Let's have a look how much our crime stat is. Whoa, 32. And 32, so 64 grand to pay our fines. 64 grand, are we even gonna get that from the from the job? We paid 10 grand for the job. We've paid, we've paid a few jobs actually. We've lost a bit of money on them jobs, I think. See you on Spirit. So I can't take the Altrucia toxin. I didn't realise I had some Altrucia toxin. But I've got that. I'm going to sell that for three grand. Not worth much. And distilled spirits, three grand. And I'm not too bothered about the toxin. So I only want to see you as well. So, well, I've lost. So I paid 10 grand for about three of the jobs. So 30 grand there, 60 grand for the fine, so 90 grand there, and I made about five grand back. <laughs> oh, I think in there now. Nice. So yeah, um, not made much money back on that, but I wanted to show the concept of that um, tractor beam, if you do find higher, higher cargo. I don't seem to be finding the cargo in those salvage ones. I'm, I just don't seem to be finding the right cargo. There was some Atrucia toxin in um, one early on where I got killed. But other than that, I'm not really seem to find in it. And you saw there with the Mercury Star run, there was actually no cargo at all in it. So I know they've nerfed it a bit, but I, I, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you're still getting good cargo from those. But I wanted to show that, that um, tractor beam and do the cargo running. For me, it's a great ship for an all-rounder if we can um, grab cargo from other ships and you forgot your tractor beam or whatever. And also for just just vice running. For me, it, it's a great little vice runner. Normally, I, I like using the, for a vice runner, I like using the Hull A or um, smaller ships like that. I like sometimes using the Nomad, that's quite quick. And I'd said that that one is almost in line with the Nomad, but you're getting three times the cargo. It's a bigger ship, but it still handles really, really well. And it's quite fast at getting in and out of places. A little bit of time to get into it, but not as much as some other places, uh, some other ships. It's, 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 it's sort of up there in, in, it's quick to get on, but there is some little bits like the, the doors opening having to wait for the ramp. If you leave the ramp open and you're quick in and quick out, then it's good. But it's them doors as well, those inner doors, doors waiting for those, that can be a bit of a bit of a, a bitch for you. But other than that, you guys let me know what you think. Um, would you use that as a cargo runner? I think it's better than the whole A for a vice cargo runner. Um, it's probably up there with the Max. Again, the Max is still can be quite um, a thing because you've got the ladders and that for getting in and out. But at least with the max the doors close themselves so you don't have to worry about that and it's double the cargo with the max but i think with the max the max is still a little bit clunky when you're flying it compared to what that is and so guys let me know what you think i think that one would be a really good vice runner it's quite it's really really fast and just moving around places if you're not getting the cargo around crusader you can hop over to microtech and it's not a massive jump it's not a massive journey it's the really really quick journeys and so for me, that's the, I think that's one of the winning factors of it is that you can just just use that ship to jump around in really quick. Um, so let us know what you guys think. I really like that one. And I think I'll try and do some more 
uh, cargo runs with it. I want to actually do a gold run at some point, so maybe that might be the next video. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to take that point, so tickle that like button first. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification, as always. Um, check out the description for the Discord link, the org link, which is Noobs Gaming. And also, if you want to help the channel out further, like GG Grizz, then you can also become a member and you'll get um, shout outs in videos and other little goodies like that. Like sometimes I'll release videos earlier like we did with the Rags to Riches to members. And uh, yeah, it's a bit like what um, a sub is, a subscription is on Twitch. And so yeah, so if you like that one guys, um, yeah, don't forget to hit that point, uh, that, hit that point and take that like button for us. And uh, we'll see you out in the verse guys.